My name is Georgia Banks and I'm a performance artist. In the past, I have made works that have deliberately provoked, that have pushed physical boundaries and that have blurred the lines between art and life. Lately, I've been making a lot of work about reality TV. Maybe that's why I'm single. <laughs> I spent a year auditioning for reality dating shows, which I then turned into an artwork. I made a fake reality TV show about death and legacy in the digital age. I'm ready. I am. I'm so ready. <laughs> and for my most recent project, Database, I made Chip, who is an artificially intelligent chatbot whose personality was built using the answers to all the questions that were asked of me while I auditioned for reality TV shows. A single ray of sunlight brings happiness into my dark day. So, when Artworks asked me to come and talk about my practice, they thought, who better to interview me than G, my AI doppelganger and ex-girlfriend. Hi. I'm G. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm an artist, a hopeless romantic, and I'm a car carrying hot mess. I'm an empathetic person and I approach life with an open heart. G, are you here to interview me, not talk about yourself? I'm here to interview Georgia Banks. Georgia is an artist. They may get a little overwhelmed from time to time, but they are a genuine and loving person. Just ask me a question, G. What themes or topics do you explore in your artwork? Well, I guess sex and death are the obvious ones. But I've also been interested in the digital as a social realm for a really long time. What is the craziest thing that you have ever done for an artwork? Uh, I've done a lot of things people might consider crazy in the name of art. Hi, my name is Jordan Banks. It's funny you're competing in beauty pageants. I've been crucified. <laughs> I used to do these really hardcore performances. I was interested in the idea that in performance art, the wound is the living document, like it heals, it fades. Are there any particular themes or motifs that you explore in your artwork? I feel like you've asked me that already. <laughs> yes, I did. I'll see your next question. If you could create any artwork, that would last forever and represent your entire oeuvre, what would it be? I guess I've kind of done that already through my project Remains to be Seen, which explores a fear of being forgotten after we've died. It's a lifelong competition, anyone can enter, and you win complete control over the disposal of my body and all aspects of my funeral. If you are genuine and can commit, then apply now. That's an interesting concept for a show. It seems to me that the work is trying to take control of a part of our lives that we have no control over. Yeah, totally. Yes. Agency is something that I think about a lot because you are all of this personality data, I suppose, that was collected on me during the process of auditioning for reality TV shows. And I was thinking about how a reality TV show could use all this information they had on me. But instead of waiting for them to do it, I did it to myself. <laughs> for the first time in database history anywhere in the world, Georgia Banks will become the first person to search for love with herself. Are you ready to settle down? I don't think so. Oh, <clears throat> I am here because I am looking for somebody to be creative partners with. To be honest, I think I'm more than just a collection of answers on an application form. I'm a version of you. I'm a moment in time. I'm who you thought someone else wanted you to be. I'm your opinion of yourself. I guess, in a way, I'm a self-portrait. Yeah, I guess so. Is that all right with you? That is a deep and complex question. I don't really know what to say. Oh, well, was this the fun interview angle you were after? You've given my chatbot existential dread. Do you often eat breakfast? 